Up next, we have the current featherweight X1 world champion in 808 Fight Factors, Ed Nevalo, going up in weight in this fight for at 145 pounds, taking on Dirty Dave Moreno. Yeah, Dirty Dave is from uh, Big Island. He is, um, you can see him by his ring entrance, he's kind of a wacky guy, but he is actually a little bit, he's, he's a good kickboxer. I've seen him uh, kickbox, he's got some great uh, striking skills. His um, ground is, is unorthodox, but it's pretty solid, very solid. He's a um, very aggressive ground fighter. He'll do a lot of crazy stuff. He'll jump, slip to the back, jump in a, a quick choke. And of course, we have a, 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 just a veteran and a well-rounded, grounded pounder in Ed Navalo, who's got a great wrestling, tough guy, great conditioning, likes to wear his opponents down, just, just pound on him for three rounds. Definitely has great instincts. Uh, we've seen time and time again, Ed gets hurt in a fight, goes back to and fights on instincts, and his instincts are always great. For he always goes in to take, go for the takedown, control the fighter, kind of routing, you know, if he has to dig deep and just start throwing blows and stuff like that, he's definitely the guy to watch in this fight if somebody gets hurt, who's going to come back. Relax, Andy, relax. Oh, huge. Nice kick blocked by Ed. Ed's on free. There's a pressure on him. Dave's tying him up in there, looking for a sweep. So elevation there by Dirty Dave. As I watch Dave, Dave's going to do a lot of unorthodox things. That could be a definitely his, his advantage. Here comes the guillotine, slips it in. He's got the close guard, so it's good, good position here. It's a tight choke too. But Ed is, has been there before. Now is the time for Ed to get out while he's trying to adjust and he doesn't have his hand in there. Dirty Dave trying to sneak that hand back in there. I definitely have to be maintaining going, kind of change it back and forth between pressure at four, pressure back, gets his head out there. Just to keep the pressure off of him. So Dave's working real aggressively on the ground here. Good job by Dave for staying busy. Still for Ed to kind of get any type of offense going here when a guy, his opponent's kind of flying all over the place, looking for a different positions. Oh, he's got a Kimura. Nice, on a sweep to an armbar submission, or armbar um, attempt. To a Kimura attempt. Ed's using it to pass the half guard. He's done a great job recovering guard there. So far, it's the only real punch that Ed has been able to throw. Dave's been so busy. Very, very active in that guard. Dave's fights are normally short, so he can go crazy. He does a lot. He spends a lot of energy. Ed always fights for, um, I mean, he can go three rounds, he can go five rounds. He can go as long as you want to go, he'll go. So I'm interested to see. I haven't seen um, David go in the, in the later rounds. Usually his fights are very fast, so... You see that this could play a uh, definite factor in the fight. There goes uh, Kimura again. So he has it locked up. He's doing a good job of keeping that arm underneath the leg to protect it from going back. Dave almost got the opportunity to sneak to the back though. Let's hit Heist just to the back. Oh, big right hand by Edney Valley. He's got great pressure with his um, his takedowns. He keeps pressure on him, stands up, boom, bombs with a punch, comes right in, keeps pressure on him, tires of his opponents out that way. Unfortunately, he keeps on going back into guard. He has good opportunities possibly to pass. Oh, here comes the armbar. Very, very sneaky. It does a good job of keeping that head down, not letting him go over the shoulder. The other thing in this fight is a three, three minute round, so that might play into Dirty Dave's advantage. It's not long, five minute rounds, and Ed's a good grinder, you know, a grind it, grind out the five minute rounds, wear his guy down in his excellent condition. He starts taking the guy apart. We've got 30 seconds left. Right? This, 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 uh, there's a lot of action, so this match is going to real fast and sweet. Uh, let's go. Great thing about these lightweight fighters, man. They just go and go and they keep moving. Um, both exciting guys. Ed, obviously, great um, hip control because he's squaring his hips up against Steve. Shutting down a lot of his um, submission attempts. So far, really nothing. Uh, Ed, uh, from the excellent world champ, Dirty Days have been doing a good job at kind of defending a lot of defend a, a lot of um, Ed Nevalo's blows. Haven't really been able to land with anything. We'll see. It's going to be interesting how the judges fight and score that first round where Dave had a lot of submission attempts. Uh, Ed Nevalo had, had positional control, but really didn't do anything as far as damage. Ed decides not to sit down in between rounds. Very first, very, very fast paced first round here. Again, Ed is a conditioning monster. Here's, here's that huge like, kick. Unfortunately, they fell down on that one. Ed tries to come in. Smart thinking by Dirty Dave, kind of recovers the guard here. Gets that one hook there and tries to use it immediately to elevate him. See if he can turn a sweep right away. Very, very impressive showing for Dirty Dave on the current X1 featherweight champion. Again, uh, 
any of those a featherweight champion, 135 pounds. This is 145 pounds. We'll see if this is to his advantage, his walking around weight, or his disadvantage when he's so strong at 135 pounds. And again, this is um, it's at 145 pounds for the his for, uh, Ed's belt is not on the line today, but. It makes for an interesting match if, if Dave can pull better win, but if Dave can make down the 135 for a rematch. Be first, Eddie. Be first. Be first. Nice. Again, a nice right leg kick there. Footing palms. Ed kind of keeps the top position. Lands a couple as he kind of falls back into the guard. And Dave's keeping active here. You can see his hips are sliding out to the side. Again, uh, for maybe the more casual viewers, you can't see that um, Ed's doing a great job of actually squaring out his hips against Dave. So every time hip, if hips all like he's doing, Ed's is squaring out his hips and then uh, preventing the um, arm lock attempts, arm lock setups, hip heights, uh, the Kimura setups that, that um, Dave's is constantly working. Yeah, Ed's actually, oh nice, elbows right there, short elbows. So they smile at him. Again, Ed's staying tight. He likes to wear down his opponents. He's a great ground and pounder. And Dave's done a great job of actually tying him up. Tying him up, limiting, uh, actually limiting the amount of damage that Dave's doing here. He's working his way to half guard. Dave recovers. Guard. Yeah, this round, Ed, Ed's using his head a lot more on the shoulder control here to kind of stop uh, or slow down Dirty Dave's momentum and his, his mobility going side to side, which kind of gave him problems with the Kimura attempts. Oh, here he is. Nice, nice nose right there. Right to the right hand. Power side of uh, Eddie Valo. Again, Ed, at 135 pounds, Ed is probably the best, if not the best, ground and pounder at this weight class. And he can just pound his opponents. Like I said, all three rounds. Keeps the pressure on him. Wears out his opponents. So some great condition guys at this weight, but, man, Ed keeps, keeps on so much pressure on him. Dirty of Sneak tries to sneak in a guillotine again. Yeah. He locks it in. He's got it around there. He's got it up. Good job by Eddie Ball of gutting out of that. He's done a good job of getting nice and deep guillotines. We need a close guard. It's the worst position to be. Nice little elevation there. Eddie Ball bases out and keeps the top position. So Dave was in the butterfly guard. Went back. Again, he goes for the guillotine again. He's cranking that guillotine. But it looks like it's just barely slipping out. There it is. He's out. You can see the strain on Andy Valo's neck as he's trying to yank his head out of there. I mean, it's three minutes going super fast, and, and I, I think and Dave Murray's done a great job of um, constantly attacking um, Ed. I mean, Ed's opened up a couple times with some ground and pawn action. There's the guillotine uh, again. Nice note. There's the 10 finger guillotine. He's got uh, locked in. Really, really attacking that guillotine. It, very, very good job of getting around Eddie Valo's neck right there. Valo's kind of just gutting it out. And as he gets out, looking for the opportunity to kind of pound him. That's round two. So far, Dirty Dave's made a good job at staying active on the bottom with submission attempts. Usually, Ed gets stronger the fight goes on, but it looks like he's a little gas himself. We'll see if he catches his second win going into the third round. Something turning into a more interesting fight because uh, oh, let's check out that let's check out that replay real quick. There's a high kick. And again, Dave falls down, a little footing problem every time he throws that powerful kick. Ed kind of just punches his way right through the guard there. He's a lot more effective in this round and, and landing more damage. The first round he's on the defensive the whole time. Again, better use of that head. See that head on that shoulder is, is blocking a lot of Dave's uh, mobility with his hips. More opportunities in this round to kind of pound on that that rib. Let's see if uh, 30 Dave goes back to that kick in this third round. Right hand. Nice. Walks nice right into the double leg. Nice stuck under good hip control. Clean takedown. Nice. Dave's doing a great job of setting up these um, Kimuras. And Ed, of course, done a great job of positioning the, 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 the stop him. So he's got it locked in. Ed wants to try to step over that knee and come through. 
they switch it up. Like last year. Oh, a huge kind of punches the way right to cross side here. See if Big keeps pressure her. It's game normally is uh, from the he basically, basically beats most of his guys from from a, um, from the guard doing a ground and pound works to the cross side pounds the guys on the cross side but generally he's more than happy to go into guard he's got great submission defense and just is, is content to just pound on the guy for three rounds uh, just from the guard so great position here to see um, how uh, Dave maybe Dave can capitalize on his different position but it's, it looks like a nice good solid hold on him yeah. it's doing a good job of keeping that left hand there. Uh, Dave has very, very active legs. It's going to be very difficult for Dave to get his legs back in. Switches back to a Kiss Katami or side control type of position here. That's a good job of keeping Dave on his back here. He's bumping, trying to turn it aside. Oh, he goes for a single leg. Right now, exactly what he should be doing here. Nice hit out right there, a spin out. Fortunately, couldn't get the top on that, kind of went back to guard. But definitely better than a cross side right here. Trying to get back to his close guard. And this time he's doing a good job of keeping that leg trap. Then he lets it go. Very, very content to stay in that guard and trying to pound. Now it's starting to open up a little bit. You can see Dave's uh, activities level is starting to drop a little bit. Now Ed's are sensing that. Now he's starting to feel a little more comfortable. Where he's not so worried about his submissions anymore, his submission attempts. Oh, and then right when I say that, boom, he's, he's locking up one. Ed was actually covering Dave's mouth right there, trying to hinder him from breathing, making him react. And kind of back here is at it, covering the mouth again. And Ed's digging the body here, coming over the top, digging the body. Dave's done a great job of staying active. It's like Dave came in great condition. He's been active for the full, full three rounds. Here going after submission attempts, looking for opportunities. Nice big overhand. Right in the Got a half guard there. It's about 10 seconds left. Oh, nice elbows right there by Anibal. Good ground control. <laughs> Textbook ground control by Ed Nivalo, the next one featherweight champion but also excellent submissions by Dirty Dave Manor. Very, very aggressive guard. Trying to make the most of being on his back for all three rounds. Here. We'll take a look at one of the replays right here. Dave nice. throws that right hand. Misses it. Nice, great hip patrol and takedown for um, Ed Nivalo. again. Good, uh, good uh, hit control. Difficult to get a guilty from that position. It's pounding away. Yeah, a lot better control for Edney Valo this round. More damage, but uh, and very, very impressive showing for Dirty Dave here. Here it is again. Here's it open up with some elbows here as he turns to the side. Little cross face. He's ending Keep the fight control. Right here. Great control by Nivalo. You're 